Hello there! This video will cover disabling the phantom process killer that originally started in Android 12. This can crash Linux on Android as well as other apps. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. There will be links, further explanations, and updates in the pinned comment for this video. Here I am going to show an example of the phantom process killer in action on a phone that has Android 14. So when I run Linux in the userland app and have a browser with one tab open and I go to something like YouTube, it takes only a few moments for the connection to fail and I can no longer interact with my Linux desktop. To fix this, we can check for a switch in developer options to disable the phantom process killer. In order to do that, we first need to enable developer options. We can do that by going to Android Settings, scroll down to the bottom and click on About Phone. From there, we can scroll down until we see Build Number. We can then repeatedly click on the Build Number until prompted with the device's password. After entering in the device's password, developer options will be enabled. Note that you can also search for the build number in settings to get to it more quickly. Now to disable the phantom process killer, we can go back to the main menu in Android settings, scroll down and click on system, and then click on developer options, and then scroll all the way down to the apps section and toggle on the option called disable child process restrictions. Note that you can turn this option off and turn off developer options at any time. Turning off developer options will also turn off the Disable Child Process Restrictions option. Now when I run Linux in the Userland app and open up a browser to go to YouTube, I can open up as many tabs as I want and there is no connection failure. For more context, the Phantom Process Killer started in version Android 12 and it kills apps and app child processes, also known as phantom processes, based on the number of child processes and CPU usage. Killing the processes affects app functionality. This issue has been reported and documented in the Google Issue Tracker. I will have a link to both of those pages that I just showed in the pinned comment. We can also adjust other settings that can potentially affect apps, including userland. First, we can adjust the battery usage for an app by going to Android Settings, click on Apps, and then click on See All Apps, and then scroll down to Userland or whatever app you want to adjust the battery usage for. Click on the app, and then click on App Battery Usage, and select Unrestricted so the app can use battery in the background without restrictions. Lastly, we can go back to Developer Options in Android Settings and scroll down to the Apps section. And then we can click on Background Process Limit where we can select a specific background process limit. There are also some other possible solutions for devices that don't have the Disable Child Process Restrictions option. I will have links to the pages I'm about to show in the pinned comment. First, we can start at the Google Issue Tracker page that's about the Phantom Process Killer. In the first post made by one of the Termix app maintainers, we can click on the hyperlinked text for the very detailed comment. This will take us to GitHub where we can click on the link for where the details about the Phantom Process Killer and how to disable it have been moved. From there, we are taken to another GitHub page where we can click on one more link for where the information has been moved to. This will take us to a page on GitHub where there are further explanations and other possible solutions that you can explore. Besides that, there is Googling and researching the phantom process killer and how to disable it. And that wraps it all up, so I'll see you soon!